Bereshit, Genesis 37. And Yaakov dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger, in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Yaakov. Yosef, being seventeen years old, was feeding at the flock with his brethren, and the lad was with at the sons of Bilha, and with at the sons of Zilpah, his father's women. And Yosef brought at unto his father their evil report. Now Yishrael loved at Yosef more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. And Yosef dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Hear, I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright. And behold, your sheaves stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheaf. And his brethren said to him, Shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. And he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that you have dreamed? Shall I and your mother and your brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to you to the earth? And his brethren envied him. But his father observed at the saying. Rather, the saying And his brethren went to feed at their father's flock in Shechem. And Yishrael said unto El Yosef, Do not your brethren feed the flock in Shechem? Come, and I will send you unto them. And he said to him, Here I am, rather, here am I. And he said to him, Go, I pray you. See at whether it be well with your brethren, and at well with the flocks, and bring me word again. So he sent him out of the valley of Shevron, and he came to Shechem. And a certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering one excuse me. He was wandering in the field, and the man asked him, saying, What do you seek? And he said, I seek at my brethren. Tell me, I pray you, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, They are departed hence, for I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. And Yosef went after his brethren and found them in Dothan. When they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer comes. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him and cast him into some pit. And we will say, Some evil beast has devoured him. and We shall see what will become of his dreams. And Reuven heard it, And he delivered him out of their hands and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuven said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lay no hand upon him, that he might rid him 
out of their hands to deliver him to his father again. And it came to pass, when Yosef was come unto his brethren, that they stripped at Yosef out of at his coat, his et coat of many colors that was on him. And they took him and cast him into a pit. And the pit was empty. There was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread. And they lifted up their eyes and looked. And behold, a company of Yishmaelim came from Gilad with their camels bearing spicery and balm and myrrh, going to carry it down to Mitzrayim. And Yahuda said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay at our brother and conceal at his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Yishmaelim, and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother and our flesh. And his brethren were content. Then there passed by Midianim merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up at Yosef out of the pit, and sold at Yosef to the Yishmaelim for twenty pieces of silver. And they brought at Yosef into Mitzrayim. And Reuven returned unto the pit, and behold, Yosef was not in the pit, and he rent at his clothes. And he returned unto his brethren and said, The child is not, and I, whither shall I go? And they took Yosef's at coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped at the blood, rather the coat in the blood. And they sent the et coat of many colors, and they brought it to their father and said, This have we found. Know now whether it be your son's coat or no. And he knew it and said, It is my son's coat. An evil beast has devoured him. Yosef is without doubt rent in pieces. And Yaakov rent his clothes and put sackcloth upon his loins and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. And he said, For I will go down into Sheol unto my son mourning. Thus his father wept for him. And the Midnyanim sold him into Mitzrayim unto Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's and captain of the guard.